guys and dolls welcome back to Queenie of London and welcome to Hans Crescent Knightsbridge I'm just outside Harrods because something exciting is going on and I'm standing in front of this giant statue of the artist herself now this artist is Yayoi Kusama and she has turned Harrods into a gigantic experimental art playground so I thought I'd hop along here this evening and show you what it's all about. weekend and a, a great start to the week. I'm just headed to uh, the very very start of the windows here on the Old Brompton Road to tell you a little about what's going on with this fine artist here. Now this is actually the second time Louis Vuitton have collaborated with Yayoi. Uh, the last time was 10 years ago and this is the most extensive art takeover of a building that's happened since then. So we're gonna stroll along and have a little look at all the windows because there's some pretty cool stuff going on. I must say, so here we've got all these screens and you'll start to notice all of these dots. This is a characteristic feature of the work of Yayoi as well as mirrors. I believe they're called infinity dots. Inside there, I'm gonna do a little bit of a <laughs> dash bar here because that's a pop-up shop and we're gonna go and have a little look in there in a moment, but how's about this? So here's Yayoi herself and she's drawing the dots all over our Harrods windows. Isn't she marvellous? Look at her face moves, can you see? <laughs> She's concentrating pretty hard on perfecting that look. So that's all still inside the pop-up shop. And here we are at our first window. What have we got? Now, as you'll see, this takeover stretches across Louis Vuitton's department. So it goes from bags to luggage to menswear to women's wear. You'll even find um, fragrances with Yayoi's signature designs on. Left hand green. <laughs> Twister though, isn't it? Now, the Japanese artist is famous for her immersive works of the imagination and they are inspired by personal obsessions and hallucinations channeled into otherworldly sculptures, paintings and public art and I guess this is the reason for utilising Harrods as a sort of gigantic public art 
space and as we know guys this isn't really anything new mr selfridge was doing this when he first came to london from chicago and he used his store as a sort of creative center and he knew that it was a way to sell his goods i must say i rather like those they've perched them up a bit too high for me but i do like those <laughs> have a little shot of the brompton we've got some gigantic advertising over there for it as well now louis vuitton have supported the art ever since louis vuitton's grandson gaston he picked designers to come and go wild creating pretty impressive store window displays um louis vuitton like to pick artists that challenge things somewhat they like to pick ones that make a bit of a statement that go against the status quo if you like oh here we go here's some clothes i must say i don't know a lot about this artist i just did a little bit of research from Howard's own website but she's got a very retro kind of vibe going on i actually quite like this what do we think everybody let's have a look at this see this isn't me but it's very youthful very playful right look at the trainers Hmm. Louis Vuitton also frequently hosts fashion shows at the Louvre in Paris. It sponsors many art projects and it showcases art in its stores. See, I'm getting 60s. What's happening with the footwear? Let's just say, for the second time, Louis Vuitton has invited the preeminent Japanese artist Yayoi Kusama to a new creative encounter, reawakening, evolving, and expanding on the pioneering initial exchange. And that happened 10 years ago. This was a collaboration that was teased um, last year at Louis Vuitton's cruise collection show. <gasps> Here's the luggage. Now, I've got to say, guys. I would quite like some Louis V luggage. <laughs> I'm not sure I would opt for the Dots one, so not a good advert, am I? I like classic, to be absolutely honest. Although I do think they are fun. <laughs> I'm just hanging about here, admiring the luggage. Uh, Louis Vuitton have done past collaborations with provocateurs of the art scene and these have included Jeff Koons, Stephen Sprouse, Takashami Murakami and Richard Prince. This lady is 93. Can you believe it? 93. So this is all about playing on the growth of people, younger people, who have come across luxury brands through collaborations with contemporary artists and Harrods is perfectly suited to displaying these collaborations because it's museum-esque in itself. I'm just stretching you up because the dots are way up in there too. <laughs> So already we're in January and last month Harrods was a cruise ship and now it's a twist board. <laughs> I'm joking. It's modern art. Here she is watering her plants. It's quite cool. I do like the box of colour. Also I've noticed that she's, she's really into her pumpkins which I would have included from my Shots of Hands present. Here we go. You can see that they're catering for the younger audience, really. Oh, here are the cases. Guys, 
these, the Louis Vuitton trunks, and the bigger ones, obviously, you can get them in all different sizes. You can get them in all different sizes. These were actually part of the brand since 1854, and they've been used for so many purposes through the years, including a personal library for <laughs> Ernest Hemingway, and the tiny ones that you can get were actually used for Princess Elizabeth, so our old Queen Elizabeth, and her sister Margaret. They were used as little sleeping vessels, doll houses for their miniature dolls, who I believe were called Francis and what was the other? Marianne. So very, very cute. This is 60s to me. I like the leather. I like the, lip, the zip up the skirt. I'm actually wearing a little leather number today. Those boots would go a treat with it. <laughs> I love this. That metallic really stands out because everything else is quite, although it's colorful, it's very, very matte muted. I like the metallic. Cargo pant. So this bit here is the other window to the pop-up shop. I am loving how she's taken over the insignia with the metallics. That's so good. I'm going to take a photo. One second, my loves. So obviously this whole collection is limited edition, which brings excitement to the brand, doesn't it? Oh, look in the pop-up shop. The staff are wearing the shirts with the dots on. I believe those are hand painted and then put on a computer, <laughs> printed onto the clothes and the bags. So I've shown you already all the windows of Hans Crescent. So I'm going to pop inside and show you the pop-ups. See you in there, my loves. space these are the exhibition windows i think oh look it's like an arcade machine <laughs> it's just like an interactive space you can actually play it so i am in an infinity room how cool is this goes around the you're going to see a lot of me in there <laughs> wow very cool so i just had a little queue i'm going to experience all of these rooms Where have I gone? So these are the infinity cases that Yayo has designed. I believe they have a heck load of space for champagne in there. <laughs> I just had a photo in the little photo booth there. And now I'm with the lady herself. I think we look quite good together. <laughs> look at that. Oh look, the little doll. I'm in a Harrods window. How stunning. And here we've got some cakes. I'm just going to film them. I'm not going to get any. I think they're little shoe buns. Look how adorable these are. I think I might get one, you know. So cute. So that was rather an interactive pop-up. And over here at this end of the store, this is the Hands Crescent end, you have another one where the goods are displayed. Just before I pop in, I will tell you that the big trunks that we just saw, a very few, a very limited number of those have been produced. And inside you'll find like reusable metal ice cubes, um, champagne glasses, and room for nine bottles of champagne. So that's something to have. <laughs> So this 
this, I believe, is the actual trunk. It's huge, quite an investment. It's mirrored, there's the room for the champagne. It's like a little mini wardrobe. You can see why they were also used for sleeping trunks when people went on long journeys. Gigantic, those are the reusable ice cubes. You've got drawers, you've got glasses in there. Wow, what a statement. Oh, she's back painting, she's back painting again. She's gonna keep going, they are infinity dots after all. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little scoot round the latest thing that's going on at Harrods. This is here till the 13th of February. If you want to pop by yourselves and have a little look at the collection and all the interactive things, that they've got going on. I think it's quite fun and I very, very much like the massive sculpture. I think she's pretty cool. I'm gonna nip over the other side so you can see the effects of her painting. But here she is, way up at the top window with her brush. I think that's quite cool, rocking her twister dress. Harrods has got all of its beautiful golden light bulbs on now. I walk along the Brompton where I'll get my bus to go and do a little bit of after work shopping and I'll show you all the lights I hope you enjoyed that today guys fun little thing brighten up your January with some colour and until next time lots of love from London have a super week Queenie to walk home via Sloan Street and I've gone past the Sloan Street branch of Louis and we've got more going on here so we'll just give you a little bonus extra I love the big pumpkins oh look at the tights I really like those <laughs> there we go this is a little extra have a little look at what's going on Stone Street's very quiet because you can't go up it, but you can go down it on the bus. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, love the leather. They're a bit pyjama aren't they? Are they pyjamas? <laughs> Suggesting not to the leather jacket. The pumpkins. Have we got stuff going on around the side? Sorry. We do indeed. And the collection of pumpkins. I tell you what, I wouldn't mind having one of those when they're finished with them. <laughs> I like this pink one here. Very cool. I wouldn't mind having one of those. There we go. So I'm going to dash home because it's really, really, really cold tonight, guys. Temperature's really dropped. I hope you're all keeping warm and cozy. Alright loves, have a good one.